Hi, welcome to Better Sheets. I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm making all these tutorials. And this free teaser is meant to show you not just what magical things you can do with checkboxes, but also to show you my process and how uh, when you uh, become a member of Better Sheets, you'll get a lot more than just um, sort of basic tutorials on uh, formulas. What you're going to get is very similar to this, where I go into some of the uh, unique uh, use cases and I show you step by step how to do some of these things. So, uh, without further ado, let me share with you the magical things you can do with checkboxes. This is a fairly recent addition to um, Google Sheets. Is the uses of checkboxes? It used to be very well, impossible, but now you can just insert a checkbox by going up to Insert and Checkbox, and you have a nice little checkbox here. And that checkbox is a true or false. And if it's checked, it's true. If it's false, if it's unchecked, it's false. Um, but you can use this in a lot of uh, very interesting th ways, not just like a to-do list. So um, you can make it say, hello, <laughs> hello. And how I do that, here's a formula. Um, what it is is saying it's using an if formula. And essentially just to say equals if, uh, if B3 is equal to true and comma, say hello, right? Just type hello in uh, quotation marks. And that's it, right? Hello. And if you get this false, why that is, is because this formula takes three arguments. You need to add another uh, comma. And when it's not, you can say something like, hmm. See, and you can say anything you want there and then check hello. And you can say if it's checked, hello. If it's false, hmm. Or as I have it in the top one, nothing at all. And I go more into the if statement in one of the tutorials uh, in the paid membership section, where this is a really great formula to hide uh, cells you want blank until something happens. Um, and I go much, much, much deeper into it in the um, in one of the tutorials inside. So the next thing I want to show you is you can use um, these just a little hiccup there. Um, needed to sneeze. So you can use checkboxes uh, in this unique way. If you have, uh, say, some values that you want to add up, and and typically to add them up, you need to just do a sum, right? You say sum C7 through C10, and you have this number. But sometimes you want to say, oh, I only want to know the these two, or these two, or these three, or I don't even know yet which ones I want to add up. But what you can do, watch this F7 box. Each time I check, it adds to that sum. And even cooler, down here, you can do multiple things. You can say, okay, this is the average of everything, 108. But if I take just the average of the checked, it's here, 27.5. Right? So you can create these formulas that say, if checked, add them up. Or if checked, what's the average of them? This came in handy very recently for me because I was using um, – I had different um, items that had to, had to take different amounts of time. And I wanted to add up half of them, like a certain amount that said, okay, if I did this many items, how long would that take? But I had a very long list and I wanted to know what the percentage difference was of different items checked. So this helped me figure that out and, and, and through this formula. So all this formula is, um, is uh, three formulas in a <laughs> string together. Um, it's the sum. And so right here, actually, well, let's rebuild this step by step. So we're going to insert in four columns in checkboxes. Uh, we're going to put in some sums. Let's, this is just a, a colored cell with a number in it. And I like this color um, to say, hey, put some number in me. It's like a really garish number, a really garish color. And um, I, that's what I use personally to say, put some input here. And so a total. We'll do this. A total is going to be equal to sum of this, right? That's it. But to get a checked total, so we want to do checked total. 
we're going to do a couple things here. It's actually three things, right? We're going to do, first, we'll, we need the sum. Um, but the sum isn't of everything. It's of a filter. We use filter. And filter takes a few arguments. You can always use this question box, but it gets in the way a lot of times. So what, what are we going to filter? Well, we want to filter these uh, range. And we want to filter it by if B, this column is equal to true. And what we get is a NA, right? So why that is, is because nothing's checked. So if I start checking, I have a number, but this is really garish and awful. And again, in, your, in another um, tutorial in the paid section, I go into deeply what I'm going to do now, but basically it's an if error, if error. And I want it to just do literally nothing. I know that I know the error is just, there's nothing there and a, but I want nothing. So now once I start checking, boom, I have some number. Great. Um, and then you can do the same with average. I'm not going to go too deep into that, but if you check here, it's if, if error, it's the same exact formula, except a sum, instead of sum, it's average. So we just go here, copy and paste, and instead of sum, we go average. And that's the checked average. That's it. And then we can also do average here. And that's literally the same thing here, except average. Okay. Um, and that's it. Um, the next thing that I think is really cool, that's really almost a magical thing, is that when I said, you know, this was uh, true-false, you don't have to remain true-false for it being on and off. You can ch actually change the value. How you do that is you go to actually data. Uh, this is, It's a little different and it's a little hidden. Data validation. For your criteria, you go checkbox, click use custom cell values and here they give you what the normal checkbox is true and false but you might want to put a number checked zero or you might want to put a larger number maybe it's a hundred uh and you go save and now if you look up here where the formula is it's actually a hundred and i can use this quick function equals this i just click over here to show you that's a hundred so now when i click it's a hundred uh, you can use this in sums. You can say, you know, add stuff up. But here's, I think, a really unique case I'm going to share with you. This is um, essentially like if you wanted to take a survey of, a, of your team and you said, hey, we're going to have this. We want to prioritize these three things. So we're going to do one of them. We just want to know which order we're going to do them. Um, and you want to assign numbers. Uh, or values to different people, like different people's level of seniority will say, you know, they probably know more about the situation in a certain way. So you want to give them rank, you want to give them priority, um, but you want to get input from everyone. And you want to see like, if there's a, a large number of different, differing voices, but let's see. <laughs> so what I did here is I inserted each of these checkboxes add as a different rank. And how you do that is, um, we'll show you. Um, but I'll show you how it, it sh does. So people check off, maybe they want to do it in that order. And you see now, okay, the user dashboard has a higher rank than the users can upload images. So you know this by, you know, this ranking, each person can have their own even different color or um, different uh, column here. Really good way to, to uh, take a survey of everyone. And this is just summing those numbers. Now, if I had uh, not been able to change these values, right, the, the checkbox, right, would have been something like this. And, and this is, a, I'm going to try to do this quickly, but you'll see how garish this is. Basically, ma I know the manager is going to be 10 points, uh, and the engineer is going to be 5 points, and the intern is like 1 point. So if I wanted to add that up with just true-false statements, I'd have to be like, it's equal to... Um, if this equals true, then 10, um, 
10. Uh, and I'm taking the sum of this plus if this equals true, uh, true, and five. And you can see how garish this is. Like this would take a long time to figure out um, and do this uh, multiple times, right? Uh, one point. And so we get the same result, right? But this formula is awful to deal with when I can truly just assign uh, these numbers, right? And I can go and edit these numbers anytime I want. Right? I can go to um, data validation. I'm gonna go to checkbox, use custom values, 100 and unchecked zero, um, save. And then I can copy paste those. And now I just do, do a right click, data validation, change this to 25, save, right click, data validation, change this to 10. And now I go sum, this is equal to sum, highlight these three, and I got the sum of them, done. Instead of having to deal with this formula and assigning numbers and going in here and this is uh, just a different way to do it. And depending on, you know, what kind of um, uh, things you're doing, at least knowing to do it this way may save you a lot of time. And you can put together some pretty interesting surveys, charts, um, really get some like people's uh, opinions, ranking, priorities. You can, you know, set up your competitors and, and see if they're winning awards and check them off if they are, or like, are they featured or backlinks? You can do a lot of cool stuff with these. Just check boxes. I think check boxes are really fun and there's a lot of magical things you can do with them. Um, please feel free to, um, well, feel free to watch this video as many times as you want. See if you can get something else out of it. Email me, andrew at camfiapproved.com. Uh, it's andrew at uh, camfiapproved.com. Uh, and I'm happy to answer any of your questions and consider, you know, buying a uh, membership uh, it's, uh, to this better sheets. Thanks. Bye.